Welcome to day 20 guys. I just took off the eye makeup, flossed my teeth. I still need to brush my teeth and also wash my face. <sighs> it is two o'clock in the morning right now. I don't have to work today, so that's why I'm up late right now. I've, um, in my previous vlogs, like the past couple of days, I've been wearing a matte brown eyeshadow. <sighs> that's bandit. You can't see him. Close the door. I'll be right back. My past couple of vlogs, I've been wearing a matte brown eyeshadow, and I'm really digging it. I know there's nothing special or new about matte brown eyeshadow, but for whatever reason, I'm really liking it, and I'm really liking that it's only one shade, and I'm getting it from this Be By Bubs Beauty palette. BH Cosmetics, and I'm using the color Inspired that's this brown right here, and I mean, like I said, there's nothing special about it, it's just a matte brown eyeshadow, but I really like it, and I don't know. So what I'm doing is I'm using eyeshadow primer, then I'm using the Makeup Setting Power powder, powder the Yalta one, the sky right here, and just kind of setting it. And then I'm going over that with the brown eyeshadow from the palette here. I'm using this brush that came in one of my Anastasia Be Beverly Hills palettes. It's just, you know, one of the brushes that came in it. And, you know, normally I don't really care for the brushes that come with palettes. But this one, actually, I feel like it's really good. I mean, I I buff it out, blend it out, whatever, with this guy right here. I don't use this one. I, uh, I, I don't know what it's for. But it does a pretty good job, and then I go up towards the eyebrow. <laughs> and just kind of let it gradually fade out. But I really like this. I can't remember how much I paid for it. But I got it from the BH Cosmetics website and I like it. Bub's Beauty or Bub's, I like her vlogs more than her beauty channel. I don't think I'm subscribed to her beauty channel, but I used to be. But vlogs are my thing. I like watching vlogs. That's why I do vlogs on my own. And her vlogging channel is my favorite channel. I think she's actually my favorite YouTuber. So, I don't know. If you're interested a good brown matte eyeshadow check that palette out I mean I'm sure you can find that anywhere but BH Cosmetics they don't test on animals It's a little bit past um, 12 o'clock, just a couple minutes, and I'm finally starting vlogging for the daytime. 
I'm waiting for Sam to get back. He had to go into work early today, but then he's only there for a few hours, thankfully. Uh, I think while I'm waiting, I'm gonna sort laundry and probably head over to the laundry mat because I don't wanna have to have him come back and then help me do laundry or um, at least maybe he can help if he can help me fold. That'll be, but I know that he's tired. Um, I'm not sure what we're gonna do later. Other than do laundry, I need to dry my hair. To dry my hair, I use this. We've had it for like a long time, but I really like those bristles there for my bangs. It really helps um, for the side sweat bangs that I have. I'm trying to grow them out, so hopefully I won't need something like this much longer. It looks like all the snow's melted. You know, if you look outside right now, it looks like it would be warm. It's cold. <sighs> Francine almost got runned over. She has it in her head that she can just go roam wherever she wants to when she's out, when she's out and about, when she's outside, I should say. So I opened the front door really quick so that I could load up the laundry. The laundry was right by the front door. So I opened up the door so I can put it right in the back of the Jeep. And in that like, what, 10 seconds of me turning my back and trying to load up this laundry, she made it all the way to the road. And I heard a vehicle, like a truck, like a like going really, really fast. And so I looked up and she was stepping onto the curb just as it was driving by. And I'm like, you are stupid, Francine. I don't know what, I don't know what her previous owner let her get away with, but she definitely needs to learn that she can't pull that type of crap when she's with us. Because I'm already fed up that she still thinks that she can just go pee wherever she wants to. That's why I'm crating her at night because she sneaks off and she goes downstairs. So I crate her and Phoebe during the day when one of us isn't home to watch them or keep an eye on them, they are in their crate. So it's definitely cut back on their their accidents. Tommy is picking up on the potty training. I feel like he is because he hasn't, I mean, knock on wood, he hasn't had an accident inside for probably a week now. Uh, I'm doing the positive reinforcement with him Every time he pees outside or takes a poop outside, he gets a little treat. So now whenever we go outside, it's like within the first minute he pees and he comes right to me for his treat. So I'm feeling like that's a good sign. But oh my gosh, Franny gave me a heart attack with her crazy little old lady antics. That's, I know that they're dogs and I know that, you know, they probably don't understand things the way we would, we think that they understand, but whether or not they understand, vehicles are not friends to dogs, especially when the person behind the wheel is driving fast and most likely isn't really watching where they're driving. <sighs> Freak me out. And I I'm gonna go find a snack since I'm gonna be at the laundromat for a little while and I'm kinda hungry. I know we're gonna eat later because Sam said that we were gonna go eat, but right now I need something to hold me over. I just found out that tonight could very well be our last night with Tommy Pickles. His adoption event is tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 3. I mean, I'm sure they'll, for this rescue, I'm not sure if there's gonna be others there, for this rescue, if he gets adopted before three, they're probably gonna leave, but if there's any other rescues that are there, I mean, I'm sure they'll still be there till they, till it's scheduled to end. So, I don't know. I'm hoping it is our last night together. I will be sad to see him go. I will be happy, though, to know that he's adopted. And, I mean, I feel like I did my part. I do wish that I had, socialized with him like one-on-one -on -one contact more but he definitely got uh social socialization with you know doggies with the, the girls 
Love Bandit and even the neighbor dog. So I feel like he does pretty well in that aspect. Human interaction, I mean, he's not aggressive or anything like that. He's just really, really ridiculously playful, which isn't a bad thing at all because, duh, he's a puppy. Um, eventually, they calm down from what I understand. So, could be our last night with Tommy Pickle tonight. Let's hope. Fingers crossed. I'll update you guys tomorrow. Look how huge this dog is. Hi. Come here. I'm nice. I promise. Look. Ah, Sam's car parked backwards, so. I wanted to give a better scale. A huge dog. It's finally starting to warm up, but it's gonna cool down here soon. It's so sad that tonight may, may be Tommy's. Uh, I, tonight might be Tommy's last night with us, and he just found his friend from next door, Marley. Oh, where'd they go? Hold on, Tommy. Oh. It's almost 11 o'clock right now. It's just Tommy, Franny, and Bandit and I downstairs. Phoebe's upstairs. She already went to bed. I I didn't vlog a whole lot today. I know that I didn't. Oh, damn, my eyes look crazy. Oh, Tommy. Tommy Pickles. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> this is the rewarding part about fostering. It seems like they're thankful for, you know, what you put into it. And. <laughs> oh, Tommy. I hope you get adopted tomorrow, and I hope that your new family takes good care of you, okay? Just because you're going to get adopted doesn't mean that nobody cares about you. It does mean that somebody cares about you, okay? You gotta be good, okay? Pickles? Hey. You be good, okay? Our adoption event starts at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. We have to be there a little bit before 8. Um, I have to drop him off. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to attend the event the entire day. But I would like to see this through because, you know, when you, when you're you know, when you start something, at least for me, I like to see it through, and this is one of those instances. <laughs> the girls aren't gonna miss him, Bandit's most likely not gonna miss him, and everybody agrees that he's gonna make a really good doggy, like a good family pet, because he's a puppy, and he's just energetic, and he wants to play, and that sort of stuff, and dang, I look crazy. I know that I barely vlogged today, but I think I'm going to go ahead and call it for today because, like I said, we have to be up early. I still have to edit this vlog. Dang, I look all messed up. So, I better get cracking. Sorry the vlog is short today. Didn't do much. Did laundry. Ate dinner. Came back home. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow.